I personally found path pathophysiology to be a very difficult class, but it is one of the most important classes for you to learn and understand because it will help you put together all the pieces of the puzzle for nursing. Pathophysiology is basically what is going on on a cellular level in your patient's bodies. So why they are having nausea vomiting or why they are having a headache. Um, so the symptom that they're having or sign of symptoms they're having, you know, would be headache. We would try and figure out what cellular process, what is causing that? Are they having, you know, a pinched nerve? Are they dehydrated? Or what is the um, patho behind it? What is the reason that it's happening? Nurses that understand pathophysiology um, do really well, and it's a very, very important aspect of nursing. It can help you figure out better treatments. It can help you connect better with your patients because you're able to explain to them what is going on because that's really what they want to know anyway. They want to know why they feel the way they do, and it's going to help you um, make them feel better. So a lot of the times... When I am asked pathophysiology questions, because I'm in the emergency department and we don't always know right away what the uh, issue is, I will give them many examples or many reasons why something could be happening. One of the most commonly explained pathophysiology is why in the heck am I checking a two-hour troponin? What is a troponin? You already drew my blood. So I try to explain to people that we're eliminating their heart as an issue and we are attempting to do that by checking a cardiac marker that your heart can release when it's under stress. There are lots of reasons why your heart meet, might be under stress. So if your patient came in with the chief complaint of chest pain, we want to make sure that they're not having a, a heart attack or they're not having a, another type of heart issue. And if it is, you know, having an issue, it would release that cardiac marker. And so patients are like, oh, well, why would you check it twice? And then I'll explain to them because sometimes your heart is delayed when it releases it. And knowing that pathophysiology behind it really helps patients come um, calm down and helps them to feel better about what it is that's going on. If you are able to say, I can't 100% say that it's not your heart right now, but your EKG looked good and your first hour or your zero hour troponin was negative, you're able to explain to them the process and what you're doing, the reasons why you're doing it, and uh, explaining to them, you know, that you're eliminating certain things in their body as not the issue. <laughs> so pathophysiology, it's super important and I highly recommend that you dive into it deep. It is a very tough topic, but it's going to help you out in the long run.